In the spirit of an alcoholic, I have a question. What is the difference between a spirit enthusiast, in my case whiskey, and an alcoholic? In pursuit of the answer to this question, my buddy Matt and I traveled to Kentucky. In the spirit of an alcoholic, we attended an event there called Whiskey Weekend. Whiskey Weekend is a gathering of fellow enthusiasts, or alcoholics, you decide, put on by the podcast. The podcast is a popular podcast about whiskey. Also, several of our favorite whiskey tube creators were special guests at this event. While at Whiskey Weekend, I asked a handful of folks there my question. What is the difference between a whiskey enthusiast and an alcoholic? I got some pretty good answers. Also, if you're ever considering flying Spirit Airlines to save yourself some money, stick around to the end of the video. All right, let's get to Whiskey Weekend. It's been a year since I took a train. I don't even oh, remember. The only way to get oh, on it is to get on. That's true. That's true. Bless him. What is he doing? That's a that's a real fair point you're making. <laughs> so I just had about a seven mile run this morning probably had about 12 different whiskeys last night and uh now i'm done with the run about to jump up in this <laughs> and you know you're cold when the cold water feels warm coming out of the, the thing it's good for you. What, where would you draw the line? The difference between somebody who is a bourbon enthusiast versus like an alcoholic or a lush. Oh, I think an enthusiast is someone who appreciates more than just the feeling of the whiskey, um, just the effect of it. I think it's for them is more about who it's being drank with and maybe that's the biggest difference is for the enthusiast it's about sharing it with others. And I think for someone who's taking it too far it's much more a just them thing. It's, a, it's just someone who's just all about that spirit and the effect of it. I think for everybody else who's an enthusiast, I think it's more about the people they're sharing it with. That's kind of a hard question to answer. Good. So I was like, the washer and alcoholic just drinks to drink. Like they're looking for the feel and all that stuff. It's like a whiskey enthusiastic or enthusiast is all about like taste and all that stuff and you know picking up on notes and sharing pours with families friends and all that stuff not just drinking to get drunk i guess for me the lush slash alcoholic would be someone who just drinks it to get drunk where an enthusiast is someone who drinks it because they appreciate everything about it the taste and the complexity and all that kind of thing so an alcoholic is the person who buys the bottom of the barrel and just guzzles it <laughs> Where the enthusiast is the one who appreciates the better brands, you know, buys things when they can find them and sips on them because they really appreciate the good bourbon. So whiskey enthusiast has tastings. That means you have five different things. An alcoholic has one bottle at a time. If you do a tasting, they're classy. But if you just drink a whole bottle, it's trashy. What is the difference? Yeah. Um, um, an enthusiast, I think, likes to share it with um, share alcohol with people, and then they like to... I don't know, they enjoy it, but they know about it and they want to learn about it. An alcoholic, um, I don't know any personally, but it's um, someone who has an issue and they don't know the boundary of the line of where the stop is. An enthusiast, I think, I mean, there's probably far and few between instances where they pass that threshold, I would say. So, whiskey, the difference between a whiskey enthusiast and an alcoholic? Yeah. Um, Honestly, it's if you can, if you can just not drink. That's the way I look at it. If you can put it down and give yourself a break, then you're not an alcoholic. 
but I'm not a doctor, so I don't know. Technically, clinically, what that means? I'll tell you more later. I'll figure it out. I'll ask my doctor. I'll figure it out. I don't know. That's a tough question. Ooh, that's a good question. The passion. Like the idea that there's like depth to something, right? The idea that an alcoholic's there for like the buzz, the drunk, whatever, not the people around them, not like the depth of like the product, not, not any of that. An enthusiast is like in love, right? Not, not with the effect, but with the product itself and, and, and what goes into the product, for sure, 100%. What is the difference between a whiskey enthusiast and an alcoholic? Ooh, uh, Will and the Grease. Honestly, I, I mean, for me personally, it's about pacing. Um, it's about t uh, understanding that you can tell people no. Because, um, you know, in the whiskey community, everybody, won't, everybody shows up with a bottle that you want people to try. Well, I mean, if there's 20 of you there and everybody wants to share something, you know, or whatever. So, I mean, it's about rolling with good people that can take care of you and like, you know, hey man, like, you know, you're a little too loose, you're more loose than normal or whatever. Um, I think the alcoholic kind of approaches it kind of, you know, I mean, there's some, a lot of people I know kind of hide it, try to cover it up, you know, um, and that, that feels more solo. You know what I mean? So I think an enthusiast has a good group of people behind them that can keep them accountable. Also with, you know, a more understanding of what they normally can have. This year at Whiskey Weekend, I freaking love those small glints. I was like, that, that saved me because like, if you have a big glint, you know, and everybody's pouring you something, dude, everybody could only pour me like half an ounce. It's freaking great. I, I definitely enjoyed making this video. Obviously, I'm, I'm a whiskey enthusiast, and those of you who've watched my channel since the very beginning have known that about me for a long time. I, I've been a whiskey enthusiast long, long before I had a YouTube channel, and I, I don't share it on here all the time because, well, I know that there are some folks that are sensitive to the alcohol thing, and so I, I don't. But, you know, and also people think that this is just going to be a reptile channel because to be fair, a lot of the people that I collaborate with are also just strictly reptile YouTube creators, but that's never been what my channel's about, and those that watch for a long time, which I appreciate all of you that have stuck around for all of the different types of content we put up. I know it's kind of a potpourri smorgasbord of all kinds of different content, but I appreciate you guys for sticking around and tuning into what it is that I'm about specifically, because I'm way more than just a reptile keeper. I told you I was going to tell you guys about Spirit Airlines, so we, we flew Spirit there because it was like $600 cheaper for the tickets than any other airline going out of LA to Louisville. It was great on the way there. It was okay, except for the fact the seat, seats don't lean back. That's, you know, it's like, but at least it's a decent flight and everything worked out okay. On the way back, on the other hand, we're in line getting ready to check our bags and they say the flight is just canceled. Just canceled. No, not late, not delayed, just done. Not happening. We're not getting on a plane. And not getting on a plane the next day or the next day or the next day, if we're going with Spirit. We just booked on a different flight for the next day, but they didn't offer any hotel discounts or anything like that. And man, if you really want to get to where you're going, <laughs> I'd recommend not booking through Spirit, man. Yeah, you might get lucky sometimes, but also you have to pay like hundreds of dollars just to carry on bags. You know, we, we had two carry-ons between the two of us and it was like almost 200 bucks. So, <laughs> uh, Spirit, in the spirit of a frequent flyer, I will never book a flight on Spirit Airlines ever again. I, I ended up having to switch my train back home, which ended up being a bus instead, which seven hours on a bus, seats smaller than the plane seats. It wasn't fun. It wasn't fun. Thanks, Spirit. Never again. Thank you guys for tuning in this video. I hope you enjoyed what people had to say about my question. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your answer to my question. And... That's going to do it for us this weekend. See you guys on the next one. We're going to be showing off some snakes coming up. They're hatching right now. We'll be on the next video. Guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Aloha.